Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews, a health channel, and there's a new drug that just received FDA approval. It's called Invokana, and it's for diabetes, indirectly for weight loss, but right now what it's listed for is diabetes, and it takes a different approach to dealing with diabetes. A lot of the drugs that are out there try to improve your, the way that your body works with insulin. Your body no longer responds properly to insulin, and so the uh, glucose, the sugar that gets absorbed into your blood, just keeps going around, and it's not a good situation to have those high levels of blood sugar, it damages your organs, and so forth. So the new approach here, and this, uh, the company that's developed this is uh, part of Johnson & Johnson, what they've decided to do is Let's get rid of the sugar out of the blood and not worry about the, the insulin at all. So they've developed a drug that goes into your kidneys where the decision is made. Your kidneys basically decide what to filter out. And um, glucose is considered a, a very valuable thing, of course, because it's what your body needs to keep running. So generally the kidneys will take the glucose and they just pass it right back into the bloodstream. It doesn't come out in the urine. But what this new drug will do, it kind of interferes in that process so that the sugar, when you take it in, it goes into your bloodstream, passes through the kidneys, it will come out in your urine and basically reduce the amount of glucose in your blood that way instead of trying to increase the amount of insulin that you have. Now it has the immediate good effect in terms of diabetes of reducing the amount of sugar in your blood, which is what you're going for. You want to keep that in that normal range and when you prick the finger and get your number 120 or 140 or whatever it is, um, that's the amount of glucose you have in your blood and you want to keep that within a normal range. So this approach basically flushes the glucose out so that um, it, it'll keep you in the normal range that way. Seems to have had good results for people in terms of uh, taking care of their diabetes and also for people who were pre-diabetic in preventing them from going on to developing full-fledged type 2 diabetes. Now a secondary effect that um, could be beneficial, they really haven't released numbers on how effective it is for this, but it's for weight loss because you gain weight, of course, when you eat stuff. The, the sugar portion of it, especially the carbohydrates, get into your system, go into your bloodstream, go around, get turned into fat. Well, if you can flush that sugar out before it has a chance to turn into fat, you can have weight loss. At least that's uh, some of the studies they've done have shown that. But again, they're not targeting, not right now, targeting, for the, targeting the drug for that purpose. And so we'll we have to wait and see more details on how much weight loss people could expect if they're on this. Now, if you're thinking it's going to be, well, that'll finally be the miracle weight loss pill, keep in mind that no matter what you take, even the most innocuous medication or herbal thing, there's always some downside to it. And it, that, so far they haven't found terrible things that they can directly tie to taking this medication. But the studies, they've done nine clinical studies, and I think about 10,000 people were involved. Well, you can imagine once this uh, starts being prescribed, they're going to have several million people, I imagine, on it. And then, then you're more likely to see the side effects and uh, what adverse reactions people may have when you have that many people actually taking it. It might become a little clearer that some people better watch out. But it's good to have another option and that this takes a different approach to treating diabetes. Everyone's been focusing on the insulin. This one says just forget about the insulin. Let's just get the sugar out of the blood. So this may be an approach that's good. There may not be too many severe side effects for it. So they're supposed to start prescribing it this year. Uh, watch the news for it and uh, ask your doctor about it in a month or two and it may be something that you want to try out.